Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today we're talking about St. Cuthbert, who was during his lifetime called the Wonder Worker of Britain. Cuthbert was born in Northumbria in the year 635. His family was wealthy, and he was raised primarily by his foster parents, who brought him up as Christian. Cuthbert was also instructed from a young age in the art of war, but despite the turmoil of that age in history, he would spend very little of his life taking part in battle. When he was 17 years old, he had a miraculous experience. On a night when he was looking after a neighbor's sheep, he saw a bright light in the sky. Within the light, a heavenly congregation descended to earth then returned the way they came, joined by what looked to him like a blindingly bright soul. The very next morning, news arrived that Bishop Aidan of Lindisfarne had died in the night. Now certain that he had witnessed the ascension of the bishop's soul to heaven, Cuthbert resolved to commit himself to religious life and set off for Melrose, where he hoped to join a monastery. Cuthbert was accepted into the monastery thanks to the prior Boisel, who could tell from the moment that they met the young man that he would become very holy. Boisel became his teacher, and Cuthbert remained with the Melrose monks until he was around 30 years old, eventually ascending to the position of prior. He retained the position when he moved to Lindisfarne, the monastery he is more often associated with. Cuthbert, however, didn't feel called to higher positions and decided it would suit him better to live with a life of solitude where he could be closer to God. With the abbot's blessing, he traveled to one of the nearby Farne Islands. However, he had developed a reputation by this point and received visitors, so he traveled even further to a more remote island in the chain. Even in this remote isle, where storms often impeded travel, people still came to visit Cuthbert. Realizing he couldn't avoid him, he built a guest house so the visitors would have a safe place to sleep. Cuthbert was eventually called back to the mainland when he was elected, most certainly against his will, to be the Bishop of Hexham. He refused to leave his hermitage and was visited personally by King Efgrith and Bishop Termwin who did the best to persuade him. Cuthbert begrudgingly agreed to take up the post, provided that he could remain on his island for the six months before he was consecrated. During these six months, Cuthbert reached out to St. Beata, who agreed to an exchange of dioceses, which would allow Cuthbert to oversee the area of Lindisfarne, including the monastery where he had lived previously. Cuthbert was consecrated in the year 685 and began traveling around the diocese preaching, teaching, and performing many miracles of healing, so many that he quickly earned the title of Wonder Worker. Unfortunately, he was only a bishop for a couple of years before his health began a steep decline. Sensing his end, he celebrated one last Christmas with the monks before returning again to his beloved hermitage, where he died. Cuthbert's island was obviously his comfort zone. He probably would have stayed there forever, and a lot of us can relate to that. Of course, with a little prodding, he recognized the service he was called to, and in returning to Lindisfarne, he accomplished great things. We can do a lot within our comfort zones, but there are still moments when we have to push ourselves a little if we want to work our own wonders. St. Cuthbert, pray for us.